To Zimbabwe now, where the government says it is ready to assist Zimbabweans who want to return back to the country due to the challenges of permits in South Africa. The Foreign Affairs Minister of Zimbabwe held talks with Minister Naledi Pando yesterday. Let's uh, get more on this particular story. By We're joined by Hopal Chinono, an investigative journalist and an author. Hopal, thank you so much for your time this evening. What do you make of the visit of the Foreign Affairs Minister of Zimbabwe in South Africa? Uh, thank you very much for having me tonight. Uh, the visit was disappointing because we, many Zimbabweans thought that the South African government was going to use this opportunity to let their counterparts know that the bad governance in Zimbabwe and the uh, failed uh, rule of law was causing problems um, of, of immigration within the region, specifically in South Africa and that uh, reforms were supposed to have been done. But what surprised me the most was that um, Dr. Naledi Pando, the Foreign Affairs Minister for the Republic of South Africa, chose to spoke about the need for Zimbabwe to work with South Africa to, to implement reforms at the United Nations. And yet the immediate reforms that are needed are the ones that uh, have not been uh, taking place in Zimbabwe. We have over 95% uh, of our citizens who are potentially supposed to be uh, working out of work. We don't have working hospitals. And because of that, it has uh, increased the flow of illegal immigration to South Africa. And that cannot be dealt with using uh, border fences or uh, soldiers or policemen. Uh, it, it's a revolving door. If you deport Zimbabweans and they come back to Zimbabwe, after two days they'll be back again in South Africa because there's no economy to speak of uh, in Zimbabwe. So I was disappointed by uh, that, that, that aspect. Mm, and I've been mean, talking about the issues of immigration, um, Hopal. I mean, one of the things, as you say, it was always going to be one of those that we look to see what exactly are they going to be discussing, given the tensions uh, that are now, you know, simmering, as we've seen on the ground. How is, you know, the anxiety back home when it comes to media coverage and how these issues are being covered? Uh, almost everyone that I know in Zimbabwe has got a family member outside the country and most of them are in South Africa. And uh, because of the, uh, vigil, the, the violence that we're seeing um, uh, of, of, of citizens, South African citizens that are angered by some of the crime that is being committed by some Zimbabweans and some other foreign nationals, uh, everybody's worried that their relative must, might, might get into trouble. Uh, that said, um, it, again, it was disappointing because the uh, South African Foreign Affairs Minister, Dr. Naledi Pando, said that she was happy with the assistance she was getting from the Zimbabwean government in dealing with those issues of uh, illegal immigration, unless they discussed something in private, which they chose to, to, to keep private. What we know is that uh, the Zimbabwean government, because of the corrupt rule that's taking place in Zimbabwe, the looting of public funds, the plan of the country's natural uh, mineral and resources, uh, there's not been any meaningful uh, economic uh, activity that has been taking place in Zimbabwe. Right now, Zimbabwe has got the highest levels of inflation in the whole world at 595%. Uh, so those Zimbabweans that were given permits uh, 10 years ago by the South African government will be coming home to a situation that is more dire than the time they left 10 years ago. We do not have clean drinking water in our homes in Zimbabwe. Uh, we do not have jobs, as I alluded to earlier on. Um, hospitals are not working. Your Home Affairs Minister uh, mentioned a couple of months ago that 80% of women that are giving birth at Musina Hospital in Lipopo are from Zimbabwe. It is because that infrastructure, the maternity infrastructure that is needed in a, in, in a normal country is not there in Zimbabwe. The biggest hospital in Zimbabwe only has one maternity theater that was built in 1977 by the colonial government. That is why Zimbabweans cross the border. And that cannot be dealt with uh, using fences and, and soldiers. It can only be dealt with by dealing with the root cause which is um, corrupt rule, which is uh, the uh, abuse of the rule of law, and, and, and uh, the failure to, to implement reforms. We are going into an election in 2023. We thought that um, the, 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 the counterpart on the South African side, Dr. Naled uh, Pando, was going to speak more about the reforms that are needed in order to put to bed the Zimbabwean crisis once and for all. 
I said yesterday, talking to a friend, that there is a border fence uh, on the Zimbabwean side with South Africa. There is a border fence on the Zimbabwean side with Botswana. But there is no electric fence on the South African side with Botswana. Because the economy in Botswana is working, there is no need for people from uh, Botswana to cross into South Africa illegally. The illegal crossing into South Africa from the Zimbabwean side is being caused by the failed economy. And this cannot be resolved by platitudes and political statements that don't address the real cause of the economic crisis. All right, Hopo, thank you so much. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for this evening. Do appreciate your time, though. Um, that was Hopewell Chinono, Zimbabwean journalist and author.